Uh-huh, Chelsea, yes. It's not called a T anymore. That's actually super disrespectful. Oh, what is it called now? K-S. It stands for Kayla Syndrome. It's named as an in memoriam to Kayla. Deidre, I think you might mean a tribute. No. Okay. Are you getting that? Does that make sense to you, sir? Oh, so it's named after Kayla. Okay, that's cool. It's actually not cool. I mean, are you seeing this girl? She's like sick as a dog. Yeah, well, I apologize, Kayla. I'm sorry that you have Kayla syndrome. So it's actually better if you just call it KS. Okay. Because it's super triggering for Kayla to have to hear Absolutely her own name brought up in that context. Gotcha. Makes sense. You know, part of me wonders. You, you have something to say? Say it. Just say it. Coach Hillridge, do you have any thoughts? I'm just here to listen. That's why you're the man. Thank you, Coach Hillridge. That means a lot. You're welcome, Kayla. Yes, thank you, sir. Chelsea, you're welcome. Did anybody do the homework? No. No, no we've all been dealing with this. Right. You're all getting your medical degrees. Have a good one, Jake. All right. So after witnessing that, do you still think AT is KS. KS? You still think it's a real disease? Look, it's actually quite simple. Kayla and Chelsea, best friends since freshman year, right? Side by side, socially speaking. Uh huh. Last month, Chelsea's out for a couple weeks. Remember that? The whole time she's gone, all Kayla could hear is, where's Chelsea? Is Chelsea gonna be out for much longer? So then Kayla's getting jealous and she comes up with asymptomatic Tourette's. And it worked for a time. But then Chelsea starts rallying everyone to be super supportive of Kayla. And what does that do? Makes everybody talk about how great and caring Chelsea is. Chelsea did the same thing to Renee last year, and Renee is still not back at 100%. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who's Renee? Come on, man. She goes by Deirdre in the classroom, Renee in the friend group. Keep up, Marquez. It's just so much information. But that's beside the point. It brings us to today, the events of what happened here in your classroom. Who speaks up on Kayla's behalf? Who started making sure everyone was sympathetic to the journey that Kayla was on? Who renamed the goddamn disease? Chelsea. Kayla's whole gambit to gain sympathy has turned into nothing more than a vehicle for Chelsea's rapid ascent to the upper echelon of popularity. Whew. That's crazy. You got all this from 20 minutes in my classroom? I only needed 10.